Moab officials are investigating a rash of mountain bike thefts from over the weekend. They say in one day, thieves stole $22,000 worth of bicycles. New specialist Shelby Lofton tells us what police are looking for and how the crimes are impacting visitors. Police say four bikes were taken from four different areas within city limits. One other was stolen from Grand County. They all disappeared within 24 hours. They obviously know what they're looking for because none of these bikes were cheap. Moab is a well-loved destination location. Everybody brings bikes. Everybody brings their toys to play. Assistant Police Chief Lex Bell says sometimes the locks they bring don't cut it. It looked like somebody used a pair of high quality bolt cutters. A total of five bikes vanished, costing their owners, who police believe were all tourists. Two were at, uh, stolen from hotels. One was stolen from the campground. He says all five are worth 22000 Whoever did it or whatever group did it knew what they were looking for and possibly scouted it out and just took those that they found that were vulnerable. Bell says some of those bikes may have gone far. I even heard stories that many were recovered in another country. He says it's likely all of the bikes were chained outside. The hotels where the bikes were stored, the lighting wasn't the best, so we're going to work with them, see if we can't make those uh, areas a little bit brighter. Bell says the department is working with hotels and having conversations about how to prevent crimes like these. It might be worth there putting in an extra room, but, you know, store bikes in that's locked, that's inside, that's covered with cameras. He recommends people use steel chains and a high quality padlock, record the serial number of their bike and take a picture of it. And he went around a hotel who saw somebody carrying those and then left with a bike. By all means, we'd love it. Telephone call. The Moab Police Department is asking for the public's help with this. If you have any information on any of these bikes, please give them a call. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.